welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel. So today we're gonna do a new box to my channel. It's not a new box, but it's a new box to me. And it's one that I've actually been eyeballing a while and kind of fits in with a lot of what I do unboxing wise. And so I just had never gotten around to try it. And the company so graciously reached out to me not too long ago and asked if I would be willing to unbox one of their boxes if they send it for free. And um, I said, yes, yes, of course, because this is a box that I've actually been interested in. So this is Globe In. You guys have probably seen videos. I've seen this on since before I started my channel. This company has been around for a good long while. And um, it is a company that deals with artisans and ethically, um, ethically obtained products. Um, which kind of fits in with a lot of stuff that I have, like the cause box and some other boxes that I enjoy. So, and I do have a discount code that I will put down below that'll get you, I believe it's, it's a pretty good discount. Anyway, if, if you're interested in signing up, that, that discount code is down below with the information for anyone who's interested. So basically, uh, this company is part of the Fair Trade Goods um, and they do kind of like different themed boxes every month. They have several you can choose from them. From what I understand, you can actually go back and choose older boxes if you don't like the themes from the month. Um, and so they're different themes. Like when I was looking through the ones they got to choose, there were, there were like themes of like different artisanal stuff, like cooking or like throwing a party or like planting, like lots of just different choices and styles that you could pick from. So it was really interesting. A so box contains about four to five items and they're themed, like I said, if you go through and look at their website, you can see all the different themed boxes but that every month, if you don't want to choose and you want to skip, you can also redeem and put that box credit towards um, buying goods on their sales. They have uh, add-on sales and then they also apparently have big uh, yearly sales, like two of them. Kind of like FabFitFun, kind of like Cosmox. So similar idea. The box is $40 a month if you decide to do it monthly and then if you buy a year-long subscription, they said it discounts it down to $33. Um, and so anyway, let's dive into this box now that I've meandered for a while. So this is what the box is. They let me choose. I chose the bake box. And this, I don't know what month this came out or how long this has been out, but this one looked really cool to me. So they put a little card in here and it talks about, so I guess their subscribers are called Mavens. And um, they talked about the curator is Angela and she talks about these different things about cooking up a cozy, cozy thing. So this is what you, you get to see what comes in your box and this is what is in the box. And then they talk about each different company or place or who the artisan is, where they came from. So let's just dive into this box and we'll go over each item individually and go from there. So this is the first item here. This thing is nice and thick and heavy. This is uh, basically a rolling pin. I have one that's really cheap. So this one really um, interested me uh, just because the one I have, I think I bought for like a couple bucks at the dollar store. This one is a French rolling pin made in Tunisia. It's handmade. It's a natural olive wood in a family owned business. Um, and it hand crafts the kitchenware from non-productive olive trees. So Natural Olive Wood Inc. is the name of the company. They employ about 25 artisans in their wood shop in Tunisia. Um, and they pay above average wages. So this is like really nicely done. If you just like a good artisan type of thing, this is this is well done. Um, I feel like you pay a lot of this at like a, you know, an expensive cooking place as well. All right, so they talk a little bit more about this, but uh, the inches are, the measurements of this are 12 inch. The ingredient is olive wood. It says hand wash only and oil after use. So I do appreciate that they tell you how to take care of the item, which is wonderful. But anyway, that is the first item. So that's really nice. Now, like a lot of these ethically sustained boxes or where they do fair trade type thing, they don't usually put a price tag on the item you're getting. And I'm okay with that because a lot of times it's hard to put a good price tag on these items. Um, what I look more for is quality and is it useful and is it something that will wear and tear really well. And that's, to me, what's more important about these boxes. So next item here, I did kind of slightly get into this box so I can make sure everything was okay. This is a bowl and this is what it looks like. It's made in India. Now it is metal. And let me just go into the next page here and see about this particular 
item. Um, so this is a enamel mixing bowl made in India. Um, and this is what the uh, people that make it. Uh, and let's talk about them. So this is Mohad Reynas, age 27, and Mohad Imran, age 25, are the lead artisans that designed this. Um, and then they talked about, uh, he works with a company called Noah's Ark. And basically they said this project allowed him to earn enough money to pay for his ailing parents for four months, as well as save money towards buying a dream house and getting married. So you're helping people out, which is awesome. This feels like a nice, um, nice bowl for mixing and everything. I'll definitely use a bowl like this. Um, yeah, it is what it is. It's a mixing bowl. Nothing too special, but it is definitely handy. All right, so that's our second item. Let's move on to this. They did package up and wrap everything really nicely, which I appreciate. Uh, that's one of the first things I did is I took everything apart and kind of looked at it and make sure nothing was broken. I get a little worried when I get glass stuff in the mail. Okay, so this is the next box or item here. This is ceramic, and let's turn to the page and find out about this particular item here. So this is a ceramic measuring cup handmade in Morocco. And this is uh, a by their favorite and talented artist, Abdel Salam, which I probably butchered his name. He was born in Morocco and he uh, resides in Marrakesh where he and his artisan group make ceramics. Um, and so basically he was self-taught and um, it goes on about his passion about his work. And they made this cup specifically for Globe Inn. So this is a one cup. It is food safe, ceramic, and hand wash recommended. So this is one cup size, so that's nice. The only thing I wish that they had written somewhere on here was one cup, because I know it's one cup, but if other people cook in my household, they may forget that this is a one cup. But it is nice, and that's really cute. I like the design and detailing. It feels very nice. Um, so that is that item. All right, moving on. Let's move on here. Next item here is going to be another uh, ceramic item because it's packaged up real nicely. So let's see what we've got here. All right, so this is the next item here. And this is like a little ceramic jar. Super cute. So that's what it looks like. And it's signed on the bottom. I would probably use this more as a decorative item, but this is a uh, ceramic sugar canister. Very cute. Like I said, I would probably use this more as, it is a sugar canister, but I wouldn't probably use it as a sugar canister in my house. I'd use this more as a decorative item, just because my kitchen decor is a little bit different, but this is really pretty. It's got kind of that cracked uh, pattern with the finish, which is really pretty, or eggshell type finish there. Um, it gives it kind of a nice aesthetic. So this is made in Morocco as well, and this talks about the specific artist here. Um, he was under a toolage of another artist, and he became one of the best known painters in the city. So he works at the Sergini workshops, and um, basically he trains other people. So. It says, fill this with either sugar or uh, coffee for storage. It has hand wash only, food safe ceramic. It's six by 4.5 by 7.5 tall with the lid. So that is really cute. All right, next item and last item in here is something that I can always use more of. Um, these are little spoons, measuring spoons. And I like metal measuring spoons. I have some plastic ones and I have some metal ones and I always seem to prefer the metal ones. These feel nice and solid, not cheap at all. Um, and what I really like about them is that they're both in metric and in teaspoon and tablespoon. So most of our recipes here in the US are teaspoon and tablespoon. Most of the world is metric. So I have recipe books that I've picked up all over the world that have mostly metric so mills and milliliters and those kind of things. And it makes it really hard to have to convert them into tablespoons and teaspoons for US cooking. So it's nice to have a set of um, 
you know, items here that actually have that on there. I know a lot of people don't care about that, but for me, that's nice because I can utilize those different cookbooks. I think I have a cookbook from like Thailand I picked home and another one from Costa Rica, so that's nice. So these are five spoons. They're teaspoons to tablespoons. They're stainless steel and they're dishwasher safe. That's awesome. These are made in India and, um, the artisan who made this lives with his wife and newborn and he works out of his workshop at home. They learned their craft from their father and they worked in metal craft for 13 years. Definitely nice metal craft here. Um, and now they manage uh, networking and managing artisans and making getting raw materials. Um, and so, yeah, he hopes to start a school at his ancestral village in order to help other fellow community managers out of poverty. All right, so that are the items. So to all together, this is a $40 box if you were to pay for it monthly. So you got the spoons, which feel really nice. You got the sugar bowl, which is super cute, even if you don't want to use it as a sugar bowl. You've got the ceramic bowl here, metal and ceramic bowl. You have the uh, cup, measuring cup here, and then you have the nice wooden roller pin. So this is nice. This definitely, to me, is worth $40. Um, this is definitely a good box. I'm very happy with it. Uh, would, would you guys like to see more of this type of box on my channel? I'm actually seriously considering, um, you know, subscribing to this because I, I enjoyed this very much and this was really nice. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know. Tell me what you think. Does anyone else get this box and really enjoy it? Like, what has their experience been? Um... Yeah, I'd like to hear about it. So that is it. That is the new box. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done something a little bit different and new on my channel. So thank you again for uh, Globin for sending that for me for free. I really do appreciate that. It helps me kind of gauge and feel new boxes and whether I want to continue on and doing them. Um, like I said, I'm definitely considering doing this box a little bit more. I really enjoyed this. I thought this is a nice mission. It's a little bit different. Um, and where I'm getting a little overwhelmed on skincare and beauty products that I'm not going through quick enough, I always love good household items and things like that. So it's kind of a fun, different lifestyle type box, which is great. Um, just a note, I was reading on the boards for those that are interested. They were affected by COVID-19 like a lot of other companies. And so I know they had some shipping delays issues for April and um, May and it sounds like from other people that I watch their unboxings they are starting to kind of get back on track so uh, I do do know that that happened but everybody that I've read before has said this company has been very very uh, good with their customer service and outreach and everything and so yeah seems like a really cool box and um, that's about it all right guys I will talk to you later thanks so much for watching bye